Hello everyone, I'm Larry Anglosano reporting for AdWeb here at AirVetra 2015 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Tethered behind me is Goodyear's new airship. It's the Wingfoot One. About as modern as an airship can get. It's got some interesting new technology. To tell us about the airship, here's Goodyear's Joshua Miller. Hello, we're here at uh, EAA Air Ventures 2015 with Goodyear's latest airship, uh, Wingfoot One. It's a semi-rigid design, uh, which is different from our older airships, which were just uh, essentially a balloon with no internal structure. Uh, this airship has a, a carbon fiber and aluminum framework um, that make up the structure, and then it's still a pressure vessel as far as to keep its shape for being round. Um, it's larger than our older aircraft. It's uh, just shy of 250 foot long. Uh, it's right around 300,000 cubic uh, feet of helium. And it also has three engines compared to two. We have a tail engine uh, on the rear that has a lateral fan um, and also a, um, a fan that can push or it can rotate down to help provide uh, pitch. Uh, also, the engines up on the side of the aircraft can vector 120 degrees. So essentially, on the ground, we operate a lot like a helicopter. Uh, we can do vertical takeoff, vertical landings, um, and if need be, we can still operate much like a conventional airship. As you can see on our, our aft engine here, we have two propellers, uh, and this is one of the things that really makes this airship unique uh, compared to other blimps or airships. Uh, we have the two propellers. One is the lateral fan, which controls thrust for left and right in the yaw direction. And the other is the, uh, in this configuration, is set up as a pusher motor. Um, it can also rotate down 90 degrees, and we can use it to control the pitch of the aircraft during takeoff and landing. So the net that you see on the side of the airship here is our new generation uh, LED night sign. Uh, it's a lot higher pixel density than the sign we had on our old airships. Uh, it allows us to do uh, full video, um, and so we can run graphic animations, uh, stuff for dealer advertisements, uh, internal uh, PR messages, um, pretty much anything you'd put on a TV screen uh, we can have up here. As you can see, uh, one of the other great features of our new airship is the spacious uh, gondola. Uh, we currently have it configured in the 10 seat, uh, so 10 passenger configuration. That's 10, pilot, uh, 10 passengers plus uh, two crew for a total of 12. Uh, we could actually lay it out so that you could fly 14 passengers plus two crew for a total of 16. As you can see here, this is our uh, new avionics package. This is one of the things that differentiates uh, this NT from uh, the other model NT that Zeppelin actually flies over Germany. This is the Dash 101 with the upgraded avionics package that Goodyear actually designed and uh, Zeppelin implemented. Uh, as you can see, it's an all glass display. Uh, more bells and whistles than uh, you can literally shake a stick at. Uh, the pilots really uh, got their wish whenever they put together this system. So another one of the unique uh, capabilities of this airship is everything's fly by wire. Um, so for that, there's no more manual controls. The older airships, everything was literally attached with a cable and a pulley. Um, so this airship, we don't have the physical demands uh, on the pilots anymore. It's all mental demands with all the different uh, systems that we have. You can see our stack here. These are all the engine controls. Basically everything's laid out. Left hand engine, aft engine, right hand engine as far as we have our RPM, our mixtures. These are our thrust levers to figure out uh, how much power we want to apply to the engines. We have our swivel levers to um, vector the engines up. And then this is also our thrust and our swivel for the aft engine. So these are our ICAST screens. They essentially give us all the technical data for the aircraft. We've got all of our engine instruments in here as far as RPM. Uh, we've got our fuel quantity. We've got uh, engine load, manifold pressure, oil pressure, uh, temps. Uh, we also have readouts as far as what our control surfaces are doing uh, in response to the commands we're giving them. Uh, also swivel indication. Uh, we have all of our power load requirements. Essentially, this is the, the lifeblood of the airship. All the information is fed into these two screens. We would get very busy with football season. Um, when we get back, we're actually covering the 
Pro Football Hall of Fame induction ceremony in Canton. That's right in our backyard. 